Are you passionate about electronics repair? Whether you're a beginner taking your first steps into the world of fixing gadgets or a seasoned pro looking to upgrade your toolkit, having the right tools can make all the difference. In this video, we'll dive into the top 10 must-have tools that every electronics repair enthusiast needs. From diagnosing issues to making precise repairs, these tools will not only save you time but also help you achieve professional-grade results. Let's jump right in. Number 1. Multimeter. A multimeter is the backbone of any electronics repair toolkit. This versatile device allows you to measure voltage, current, and resistance, and is essential for diagnosing circuit issues. For beginners, a digital multimeter is easier to use, while seasoned repair enthusiasts might prefer advanced models with features like auto-ranging and connectivity options. Whether you're checking a faulty power supply or testing continuity, a reliable multimeter will always come in handy. Why you need it? Diagnose electrical issues accurately. Test components like resistors, capacitors, and diodes. Ensure safety by checking live circuits. Invest in a multimeter with a backlit display for better visibility in dimly lit areas. Number 2. Soldering Iron. No electronics repair toolkit is complete without a soldering iron. This tool is essential for assembling and repairing electronic components. For most enthusiasts, a 40-60W soldering iron with temperature control is ideal. Whether you're replacing a broken capacitor or assembling a DIY circuit, precise soldering is crucial. Why you need it? Attach and replace components on circuit boards. Repair broken connections. Build custom electronics projects. Use a soldering iron with an ergonomic handle to avoid hand fatigue during long repair sessions. Number 3. Wire Strippers. Working with wires is inevitable in electronics repair, and a good wire stripper is a lifesaver. This tool allows you to strip insulation cleanly without damaging the conductive core. Wire strippers come in various sizes, so choose one that matches the gauge of wires you frequently use. Why you need it. Prepare wires for soldering. Create clean, professional connections. Avoid accidental wire damage. Opt for a self-adjusting wire stripper for faster and more precise results. Number 4. Precision Screwdriver Set. Electronics often involve tiny screws, and a precision screwdriver set is a must for handling them. These screwdrivers come in various sizes and types, including Phillips, flathead, and Torx. With this set, you'll be able to open smartphones, laptops, and other devices with ease. Why you need it? Open and assemble electronic devices. Avoid stripping or damaging delicate screws. Tackle a wide range of repair tasks. Choose a set with magnetic tips to prevent screws from falling into hard-to-reach places. Number 5. Digital Caliper. A digital caliper might not be the first tool that comes to mind, but it's incredibly useful for electronics repair. This tool measures the dimensions of components, wires, and enclosures with high precision. When you're working on custom builds or retrofitting parts, a digital caliper ensures everything fits perfectly. Why you need it? Measure components with high accuracy. Ensure compatibility when replacing parts. Create precise custom designs. Look for a digital caliper with an easy-to-read LCD display and metric-slash-imperial conversion. Number 6. Heat Gun. A heat gun is a versatile tool for electronics enthusiasts. It's commonly used for desoldering components, shrinking heat shrink tubing, and even repairing damaged solder joints. Adjustable temperature settings make it a great tool for delicate tasks. Why you need it? Remove soldered components safely. Apply heat shrink tubing for insulation. Repair smartphone screens or plastic enclosures. Choose a heat gun with multiple nozzles for more precise applications. Number 7. Tweezers. Tweezers are indispensable when working with tiny electronic components. They provide the precision needed to handle small parts like resistors, capacitors, and ICs. Anti-static tweezers are a great choice to avoid damaging sensitive components. Why you need it? Handle small components with precision. Avoid accidental drops or misplacements. Safely position components on circuit boards. 
keep a variety of tweezers, including curved and flat tip styles, for different tasks. Number 8. Oscilloscope. For advanced electronics repair, an oscilloscope is a game changer. This tool allows you to visualize electrical signals, making it easier to diagnose complex circuit issues. While it's an investment, the insights it provides are invaluable for troubleshooting. Why you need it? Analyze signal waveforms. Diagnose issues in real time. Test and fine-tune circuit performance. If you're on a budget, consider a USB oscilloscope that connects to your computer. Number 9. Breadboard. A breadboard is essential for prototyping and testing circuits without soldering. This tool lets you experiment with circuit designs, troubleshoot issues, and test components before committing to a permanent solution. Why you need it? Test circuits quickly and safely. Experiment with new designs. Avoid the need for soldering during prototyping. Use jumper wires with pin connectors for cleaner and more organized breadboard layouts. Number 10. Third Hand Tool. A third hand tool is like having an extra pair of hands during repair work. It holds components, wires, or PCBs in place, leaving your hands free for soldering or assembling. Many third-hand tools also come with built-in magnifying glasses and LED lights for added convenience. Why you need it? Secure components for precise repairs. Reduce hand strain during long sessions. Improve visibility with magnification. Choose a model with adjustable arms and a sturdy base for maximum flexibility. Equipping yourself with these top 10 tools will set you up for success in the world of electronics repair. Whether you're fixing a broken device or designing your own circuits, having the right tools can make the process smoother, more efficient, and much more enjoyable. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What's your favorite tool for electronics repair? Let us know, and we'll see you in the next video.